In October of 2009, I was at the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and I caught a ghost in broad daylight. If you're watching this, you probably already know that the Crescent Hotel is considered a mecca for paranormal investigators. It has been investigated by hundreds of paranormal investigators and has been called one of the most haunted places in America. It always makes the top 10 list for haunted location. The now famous pic of the full-bodied apparition was taken there by the TAPS team with the FLIR camera in 2007. This hotel has a varied past from being a conservatory for young women to a hotel and a cancer hospital run by an infamous Dr. Norman Baker. Psst, not a doctor. He performed experiments on the patients, would move them to a separate wing to die with no pain meds. Not a nice guy. In 1940, a federal judge determined his treatments to be a swindle, and Baker served four years in federal prison for mail fraud. After his release from prison, he spent the last remaining years on his yacht and died of cirrhosis of the liver in 1958. It was also the final home and resting place of Morris the Cat. Morris walked the halls of the Crescent Hotel and was interred there on the grounds when he passed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video, but I promised you a ghost pic, didn't I? Well, here you go. When I was there in 2009, I took a photo outside of the hotel with only the subject of the photo and an older lady walking by to my left. I didn't notice anything at first. I was not out ghost hunting, and it was not at night. I did not expect to capture anything. It wasn't until weeks later when I was looking back through the photos and saw something that shocked me. Just above the left shoulder of the woman, you can see someone's face, a man who was not in the photo. When you zoom in, you can see the light passing through him, and I put the photo in negative to see if I could see anything else. You can clearly see the gentleman looking to his right. Here it is zoomed in. The thing that I found odd about this photo was that all the shadows are leaning towards 11 o'clock from my perspective. When I took the photo, this little old lady to the left has the sun hitting the left side of her face and the shadows on the right. His face is just the opposite. The light is on the right side of his face and the shadows on the left. The only way this could happen is if the light source, or the sun, was in between them or they were taken at different times. If you like this freaky, creepy kind of stuff, check out our other videos. Also, go check out our website, paranormal-spirits.com. Stay tuned for the upcoming podcasts.